Topeka family's desperate plea for justice after months of waiting. Now, you might think when a person is arrested with multiple active warrants that they would be held accountable for their crimes, especially if they're caught by police. Well, that doesn't appear to be the case involving a Topeka man. KSNT News reporter Cassie Nichols joins us live from West Topeka now to explain. Cassie? Brooke, it's a complicated story with a lot of twists and turns. It all started here at this bus stop off of Wanamaker near Walmart. That's where 21 year old Anthony Tankersley was assaulted after simply asking a question. Where is this bus going? 21 year old Anthony Tankersley had just finished shopping at Walmart. He was trying to catch a bus ride home. At the stop waiting with him was this man, Sean White. Tankersley, who has struggled with cerebral palsy his entire life, turned to White and asked him where the bus was going. Tankersley says that harmless question resulted in White punching him in the face. Five months later, he still hasn't recovered. With my eye, you're going to notice that this is uh, that dog. Sean White, there. Sean White was arrested and booked into Shawnee County Jail for attacking Anthony, but he was quickly able to bond out. He was expected to appear in court for the assault against Anthony, but never showed up, so a warrant was issued. You don't know what to expect if someone tried to try to hurt you. While waiting for White to be held accountable, he's been arrested in nearby Leavenworth County, once for assault and another time for battery against an officer. In both instances, he was arrested, booked into jail, all while having an active warrant in Shawnee County and allowed to bond out. Even at the time of this reporting, White is walking the streets as a free man. I just feel like we're out here flailing and trying to get some justice and I'm I'm really frustrated and, you know, I, I've hit a breaking point a couple of times. After digging through White's criminal history, we discovered a loophole. He doesn't just have one active warrant in Topeka, he has three. One from May 10th, June 25th, which is Anthony's assault case, and another from July 1st. All warrants that were in effect when he was arrested twice and bonded out a little over an hour away in Leavenworth. He needs to be dealt with. He needs to be arrested and he needs to be charged and he needs to be behind bars. You may be wondering, how is this possible? Well, according to Topeka City Attorney Amanda Stanley, people with city warrants can be picked up from bordering or other counties at the police department's watch commander's discretion. In an email, she told me the city did receive a call from Leavenworth. The request was reviewed by the watch commander per the established policy. Following policy, because Mr. White was not in an adjoining county, the transport was denied. Topeka police tells me that two officers are required for pickups that far away because of safety reasons. So it's possible they didn't have enough people working to make the drive. Officers also say the watch commander on duty only gets told what the warrants are for, but not any specifics of the case. Anthony's mother is worried, saying if White's constantly allowed to bond out with active warrants, coupled with his history of assaulting people, it's only a matter of time until someone is seriously hurt. What if, does he have to go out and actually kill somebody before they're going to do something? When they should have done something, when he attacked Anthony the way that, they, that he did. The Topeka City Attorney tells me they are currently reviewing police department policies to see if anything needs to change based on this incident. Live in West Topeka covering local news that matters, Cassie Nichols, KSNT News. All right, thank you so much, Cassie.